Having lots of big bling on long nails is really cool and great for some, but not everybody can have super long nails. They're just not practical. But I thought, let's do some big bling on little natural-like nails. So I've got these really nice little natural looking nails. And when you're working with a smaller area, you've got to be more precise. If I put like this giant bling on that nail, I gotta try to hold it at the same time. It's, it's bigger than the nail itself. So we completely lose the shape of the nail and I can't put any more things on it. So whenever we do it, I can do the same shape. But maybe we, we go down in a size more like this one, for example. And then it's actually fitting on the nail and keeping within the shape. Then I can do other things on it. So we do want to do lots of big bling, but sort of shrink it down a little bit to keep within a ratio, but still have the big bling on there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to decorate. You just need yourself a thicker viscosity gel. That's what my gel happens to be, a bit of a thicker viscosity. I designed it that way, so when you're building out nails, you can use this to build out nails. It is thicker, so if you're learning, it's a lot easier than if it's running everywhere. But it also happens to work beautifully for this. Now, you can see it's kind of dirty. I'm just saving this particular one. Let me get rid of this. I save it just for bling and any type of glitter and stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna use my paddle Oh yeah, look at that glitter in there. <laughs> it's a good thing to sort of save that aside for your particularly glitter designs. I do have a little bit of glitter and you can see on my pinky and a little bit here, but I had some silver glitter on here, but because I'm putting bling on, doesn't won't really interfere with this. So I always thought maybe it'd be better to do some little bling on there first before you put the big one on. You could, but sometimes you don't know where the big one's gonna go. So you kind of want to start with the big one, sort of, so it gives you an anchor point for your design, then you can move out from there. Okay, so I'm just, before I put the blump there, I'm just going to decide which gem I'm going to get. There's so many here to choose from. Like I say, I kind of like this, but look at that. It's ridiculous. I just lose the nail shape entirely. Maybe, oh, you know, that little one that I had on here a minute ago was quite cute. You remind me of like a record. Oh, a CD. It, it looks yeah. like a CD. That's what it's reminding me of. I think I'm going to use that one. I don't know if that's the best choice, but... I do like it. Do you like it, cameraman? I do. Yeah, it's big. It is for a big, tiny but it nail. is. Yeah, my nails are on the smaller side. So, like for the thumb, for example, you can see that it would be a good fit for there. I could even put it off to the side and put all the. You know what I mean? I'm going to put that aside. And I do kind of want. I mean, look, see this one? It's, it's bigger than my nail. Yeah, that's just too big. I just lose the whole nail. They're huge. Yeah, they are big. Like I say, it's it's tough because you want to get a big bling on there, but you want to stay within ratio too. This one's nice. Oopsie. Mm, that's going to be hard to balance. Yeah, well, that's what the gel is for. But I just want to show it. See, that's nice. I wouldn't place it right there, but th let's do that one maybe, okay? And then I'll put this, you know, round CD on my thumb. Okay. I'm going to place it right about here. I don't want to do it too far back because I don't want to ruin the cuticle line. I want to keep everything within the nail space because once you go over it, it you're going to lose the shape of the nail entire. We're going to lose it anyway. We just don't want to over lose it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to get... Now, it's a it's this bigger blob of gel, but it's a small blob, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put that right there. Now I do have my wax picker upper. <laughs> I call it a gem jab, but these ones are really big. I'll see if it'll pick it up. Oh yeah, it's gonna pick it up. Oops. But it fell before I, okay. And you can see the wax on there, so that's not gel. If it was gel, I'd clean it off first. Okay, I use the pointy side to position. That's That's not bad. I think I like that placement. Ooh, what do you think, Caraman? I like it too. I'm just gonna look at it this, oh yeah, oh yeah. So once I'm happy with it, then I'm gonna nuke it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it in place just so I, now I can do all the little ones around. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it on its side and I'm gonna pick up some of this gel and I'm going to paint it on all the area that I wanna put 
the new pieces. Goodness. Again, it's a tiny little finger. If you get any gel on that big gem, Okay, I did notice the wax. I'm just gonna take it off. Just make sure that it is the wax. Because if it's not, if it's gel on there and it's cured on there, then I'm gonna have to replace that gem and I wanna do it now. Okay, so it looks like it was the wax, thank goodness. Okay, so I've got my gel in there now. I think that kind of landed in there quite nicely. Just make sure it is everywhere. And it doesn't have to be smooth or anything because you're putting the gems in there. Okay, and then I'm going to get my gems and start placing them in. Now, will this fit in there? Yeah, that does. Let me, I don't know if it's complimenting that thing in there, but I'm gonna try it. Now, whatever you do on this side, you don't have to, but it is ideal to mirror the other side. So I'm gonna place that guy right there. I'm not confident if that's gonna look good, but I'm gonna go with it. And then I'm gonna start putting all the other little ones in around. I do have some pink ones here. Maybe I'll throw a couple pink ones in there. It's kind of pretty, and I got these pretty little bright ones. This one's a bigger one. Just sort of remember what I'm doing so I can mirror that on the other side. That's tucking in there really nice. Tiny little spot. I think I can put a little guy in there. Oh, see, there's no gel. Gel didn't get in there. Okay, so I think I'm. Oh, I'm gonna leave him because I'm gonna top coat the whole thing, so it might, he might stay in there. That's pretty. I like that. Just take a look. Yep, that is pretty. And there is some gel on the very end, so I am gonna put a nice little gem. Let's see if this big guy will fit in there nicely. That's not bad. A little big and clunky, but I think I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to see if I can fit a tiny one of these. Can I get it in? Yep. I think that's good. Okay, I'm going to nuke it to hold it in place so I can do the same on the other side. I just have to remember what I did. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up. I'm just picking up a little. You can see it's just a little mount because I just want to paint it on here so the gems stick. And just be careful not to get any gel on top of your already gems. I'm just turning my brush. I'm gonna just dip the very end in and I'm just gonna lean it in here. I don't get it on my skin. Pop it right around the back here. See that just going down in there? See that? I'm just gonna stick it right in here. And then I'm gonna encourage it to go right over there. Make sure it's everywhere. And I'm going up on the side of the gem too. If any gem gets in there, it'll stick to it if I get it up in there. Nice. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna look on the other side here. Is that long kind of long skinny one? I think I got another one of those. And it was, oops. <laughs> it was the heavier end is toward the bottom. So that went like this. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Let me just take a look. Yeah, I kind of like that. This is when you hope your nail is symmetrical because you're putting things on the same side and or on the opposite side exactly the same and that's where you're just going to measure out if you did it right or not. So I'm just going to place, I think there was a bigger one. Oh, there was a pink one back here. I think it was right here. Okay, so I think I had some little silver ones. Just kind of like a plain silver. And they went up the side here. I love the pointy end so then I can balance it. Does this bring back memories for you, cameraman? Yeah. 
bad memories? No. Good memories? Oh, yeah, good. I thought I did an awesome job, if I do say so myself. You did see that I had cameraman do gems. It was bling on. You did them really long, didn't you? Yes. You did one really long one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did a pretty good job. Did you like doing it? Yep. <laughs> Would you do it again? Uh, nope. Well, I'm quite busy doing other things. <laughs> Maybe if I had more free time. Yeah, no, he wouldn't do it again. So I'm just getting that one right in the back there, just getting it up in there. That's good. All within the cuticle and the finger. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, I think I can fit one tiny, 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 tiny. I need to find a tiny, tiny. I don't know if I can find one. Oh, there it is. It's so tiny, it's flipping over and, okay, hang on, okay. Where did I want to put it? Right there. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure, I think I might have got a little bit of gel kind of splattered, like a little string of it on that main gem. I don't want that there. Just checking the other little gems. You have to be careful because they are stuck, but you can move them. They're stuck on there, but be careful. Okay, I think I've got everybody in there. I'm just going to nuke it now. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones. Okay, so I've got them all on. Now I'm just taking up my little lint pad here. It's a lint-free pad, pardon me. Cotton pad. And I'm just removing any wax on there to make sure that those gems are just glistening. And one thing I didn't show you because I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but I added more of these. I didn't think they were going to look good. But these little gems, you can see on the pinky, isn't that cute? It really highlights the gems when I put the pink all around it. And then I added my little caviar beads, these guys, and I put little ones in between each of the gems. And I did it on the index finger too. It turned out better than I thought. I didn't know if I would like these because when I did them here, meh, but when they're all together, they look way better. I really like that pinky design. So all in all, I think they're adorable short. Maybe cameraman, when we show the photos, can we show the difference? Whoop. Well, hello there. But I don't have any cats, right, Olympia? <laughs> so I just want to show the difference between the really long ones and the short ones so you can see it really is very gemmy. It's really gemmed up. But they're short. They're adorable and very functional. Let's check out the photos. Oh. Hello, baby. You want to check out the photos? So if you did want to see the long version, I had my friend Jenny come to my nail room and we did a video together. We did the really long ones. Anyway, check that video out. It's adorable. See you soon. Oh. Well, at least it's after and I won't have cat hair, at least in the photos anyway. <laughs> Catch you in the next video.